batting lineup. And uh, Tyrone Williams is between the sticks. A back four of Emilio Rousseau, Rudolph Austin, Stephen Young, and Javon Thompson in, in the middle of the park is Seagull Knight, Akeem Mullings, and Gio Headley. And up top, Alex Marshall, uh, Siobhan Walsh through the middle with a couple of goals. So to Marshall, Martin Davis, their number 10, with a goal to his name so far. And that's about as potent a front three as you can get in the Jamaica Premier League. Tivoli, Tivoli's defense will do really well to repel them. Nicholas Clark between the sticks for Tivoli Gardens. They have a back three of Barrington Price, Odin Pennicook, and uh, Richard Brown in the middle of the park. Kino Simpson on the left, and Alton Lewis on the right. Kevin Garnett and Morris in the middle of the park. And uh, Ray, their number 30 on the left up front. Fuller, uh, their number 25 on the right through the middle. The inform number nine, Justin Dunn with six goals. Yeah, and although Portmore's front three is, is enlisted with star studied names, I think this Tivoli Guns, Nilo. As we take a look at the full match highlights between these two teams. Tivoli Gardens with a lot of the attacking in the first half, but look at this, Justin Dunn firing that one goal words and somehow Tyrone Williams making the save there. Stunning the crowd at the National Stadium East Field. What a save that was then. Headley coming forward, getting Martin Davis involved and couldn't quite get that one under his fellow. He had an off night tonight, did Davis. And Lewis sending that one inside that was insane from Thompson at the back post Javon Thompson almost scoring a spectacular own goal and Tyrone Williams came to the rescue of his team yet again Neil his ball inside Thompson well he had a role to play in this game really and truly with a wonderful challenge but he was pretty much hot and cold this effort from Fuller Denied brilliantly once again by Tyrone Williams. Man of the match performance from the Port United custodian. Yeah, and he was absolutely pumped. Nicholas Clark got himself in some trouble here and a shot from distance. Clark recovering well to make the save, denying a key Mullings. Was a lot of action in that second half. Turned out to be a really physical affair. As we take a look at the full time statistics, Portman United with four shots, just two on target. Timothy Guns with six shots in total, three on target. 29 fouls committed in this game, five yellow cards apiece. 5 2 as far as the corner kicks were concerned in favor of Timothy Guns, who had the majority of the possession as well at 52%. Yeah, I'm here with Tyrone Williams, today's man of the match, Portmore goalkeeper. You made some crazy saves today. Talk us to your favorite one. Um, I think it maybe have been the third one, because I kind of didn't see it. It was last minute. And when, it, when I got a little glimpse and he hit it, I just put myself in the right position and tipped it over. And you know, even your teammates were trying to score on you. I'm sure your reflexes were tested on that one as well. Yeah, you know, you got to be prepared for anything. Anything could happen, so... I tried to be in the right spot at the right time and I got, I got lucky and thank you for that. And Portmore are already a good defensive team last season but you've come in now and seemingly you've improved even their goalkeeping situation. Mm. What do you think that the team can achieve this season? Well, we're taking it step by step but I think we could achieve the championship and that's what we're going for. As we said, day by day we're working hard in training and putting in the work to do that. All right, thank you very much. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you Great very much. performance today. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, man, thank right. you.